Hello people of God, so how are you? This is like a very unexpected live video that I'm here to share tonight. Um, so I'm gonna give some people like, you know, a chance to connect and then we can get started. Oof, I hate this angle of camera like so bad. I'm gonna try and find a better one. Um, I'm still waiting for like some sticks to come over like what do, what do you call it like these camera selfie sticks and stuff so um you know can make it a little bit more clear for people oh that's the first person who's online like i want to see the person that's online who is it right okay so um let's just wait for a couple of more people i know like it's been like almost over one year that i've not been online and done live videos and or just being able to speak but I cannot literally see. I've like Facebook have changed so much. Like I don't even know what's going on. I don't even understand social media anymore. Um, and I don't actually even know what's going on. Can like, um, all right, okay. Hi, Dorcas. How are you doing? Like I hope you're okay. And thank you for joining me live today. So, starting the video, I just wanted to say that there's been something that's been bubbling in my heart for I don't know how long, and um. But like, even when I was in work today, I just felt the need to share it. I've been feeling the need to share this word because I think that it's a timely word and I think that it's a word that everyone can relate to and it's something that we probably all need in our lives. Um, a little bit of healing. Sorry, I'm going to take my chewing on my... Yeah, a little bit of healing. And uh, so one word that God gave me has been giving me for a very long time is when you have been healed don't go back to the place of being broken hearted if you see the book of psalms in uh, if you see the book of psalms 34 from verse 18 it says the lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as as a contrary spirit uh, and saves such as have a contrite spirit so this message keep really really bursting into my heart um and keep bursting into my spirit that when you have been healed by god don't go back to the place of being broken hearted again when you have been healed by god don't go back to the place of being sad again when you have been healed by god here's a strong one accept the healing one thing that I've come to realize is that so many people want the healing without accepting the healing. So, so many times you see that someone's been broken hearted and God has healed them, but they don't want to accept that healing where it comes to a place of self-inflicted pain. That's what I call it, self-inflicted pain, because I think that Healing is also part of our responsibility to say it depends on the 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 i would I, I can boldly say perhaps the maturity of the person and it depends on the spirituality of the person or where they are with God at that time and how much they are willing to trust God through that time i'm going to tell you a story obviously you can see on top of my uh, page it says that breaking off my engagement. So I was in a relationship for a very long time and, you know, things got serious and, you know, letters were delivered to parents, so forth, backwards. And then things just did not work out. So, you know, uh, that engagement got broken off and it was to a point where I bought my engagement dress and I bought my diary dress, not engagement dress, sorry, my diary dress. So I, as I'm speaking to you right now, I have my diary dress at home, like, you know, a dress that I was going to wear at my wedding. That is in my house. I have that in my house, in a box still. My mother bought me that dress. So I, when I broke off that engagement, when that engagement got broken off, obviously I was in a place of being hurt and I was, I was saddened in my spirit because what happens is as a woman, when you get into a place of, having a relationship a serious relationship when you know that it's going to lead into marriage you start to prepare yourself emotionally 
mentally spiritually and you know as a woman you also be you you start to become a little bit broody i was feeling a little bit broody i came from a background where i didn't really grow up with so many brothers or sisters but i am um, you know I, I i i started to feel like i loved children so much i became so passionate for children i became so passionate for for house and all that kind of stuff and i just wanted to expand myself more because i knew that i was getting for a, ready for a new stage in my life i was getting for uh, ready for a new stage of you know the graduation of marriage in my life so when that engagement broke off i was crushed obviously I was so crushed in my spirit. I was so crushed physically, mentally, emotionally, and at the same time as well at work, I was going through some very, very, um, I'm, I'm actually, I'm not going to mention that actually, I, I decided to keep that private. Um, so going back to my engagement, I was really, really broken and I was really saddened because my mind has been programmed and my my uh, spiritually that's all i was praying for i came out of facebook for a very very long time you guys did not see me for a year everyone was thinking what's happened to her where's she gone where has she been and i was just getting ready for that stage of my life so when that didn't happen obviously i'm not jesus christ and i am not an angel so i have you know i have blood flesh and i was crushed my spirit was crushed i was really really crushed to the point that if i can be very uh, vulnerably honest that i couldn't pray anymore but you know what god has been my strength why because in the midst of where i couldn't pray even more it, i couldn't pray more sorry I wanted to get up and pray and when I started to pray what I started to notice is that I started to get back into that place of healing God started to heal me first of all before talking about how God healed me my background I have come from a background of disappointments I have come from a background of oh of rejection and i have come from a background of you know having low self-esteem or um i've come from a background of wanting to be so suicidal um so god i was not planning to shed any tear so for me my objective and my goal has always been to never go back to that place again so i will do anything you know by the grace of god to come to not go back to that place again so when god started to heal me whenever i talk about my past i always get upset because god has taken me from so far so when god came to heal me in that place i decided to accept the healing of god yeah I decided to accept that you know God works and I decided to to not become bitterness to not become bitter sorry because what I found is that I found that God has given me the mantle in order to speak out to the world and in order to speak out for young women so one thing that I can't do is the sorry I can't afford to be a her prophet I can't afford to be a hurt minister. I can't afford to be a hurt uh, singer because otherwise I'll be singing from a hurt place. I'll be prophesying from a hurt place. I'll be saying the word of God from a hurt place and I will be bitter in my heart. So one thing is that when God decides to heal you, you get up and you accept that healing and you say that, you know, this is enough. I'm going to draw the line here and I'm going to be strong for myself. A lot of the time what we find is that we find the people they dwell in that they dwell in that disappointment so much they dwell in that place of disappointment so much that it takes them so long to get healed because people were looking at me and they were saying you know i've had family members friends people in church who were saying ha we know young women if they get into a place of engagement and you know that marriage doesn't you know work out or that engagement doesn't work out they will be in that place for a very very long time they will stay in that place for a very very long time and people were looking at me strangely and saying things like wow like how have you managed to come out that place so fast how have you managed to accept that healing so fast one thing that i've learned is that pain you have to accept it because in order to be healed because you're human you have flesh you have blood so you accept and you acknowledge that pain sometimes you can get or if you're me you can get into a place of where you are hiding that pain you can get into a place where you 
you know you don't want to 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 feel that pain but in not wanting to feel that pain you are delaying the process of being fully healed by Jesus you are delaying the process of being fully healed by God you are delaying the process of fully getting back to yourself so first of all is acknowledging yes that I am in pain acknowledging that yes that this person has hurt me acknowledging that what this person might have done was wrong accepting that you accept that place and when you accept that place you start working towards your healing and that's why the Bible says it's very important to guard your heart above all else because where your where your heart is that's where your treasure is and our hearts as human beings is very very fragile we have fragile hearts as human beings you know what I mean you cannot function well when you are under being hurt you cannot function well when you are still emotionally unstable and that's one thing that I understood so when God told me get off from that place of hurt I accepted that you know I broke off all the spirit of disappointment in my life because that was a a, a, a time of you know a, 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 of promise where someone has promised you something or you know as a woman someone promised that you know they'll marry you and stuff like and then that doesn't happen so I got promised something that didn't come to to be accomplished so I first of all broke that disappointment spirit of disappointment in my life and then helped God penetrate through the healing so that's the message I had for people today that remember that you have to acknowledge every single pain that you have in your heart. Yes, sometimes you might not feel like getting out of bed. That is normal. That is okay. That is right. Because, you know, you are a human being. You are a flesh. You have blood. And it's okay to feel pain. But one thing that it's not okay to do is, it's not okay to remain in that place of pain. Because you have way too much responsibility and you have too, you're, you carry too much in order to stay in that place of pain. So when you realize that you're in that place of pain, take it to God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew is that for, you know, come to me, those who are weary and broken, I will give you rest. And that rest is spreaded across you know it's it, it, it that that rest is spreaded across us human beings that rest is the love of god that is spread to us and that rest is there to anyone who is disposable in order to receive that oh my god i just love jesus so much i just love him so much for the ability to being able to heal broken hearted even though that rest is out there and jesus is pouring his hands open up to you it's for you to accept that healing it's for you to be able to to be like you know what God here I am I'm vulnerable and being in the place of healing going to accepting that healing it takes rawness it takes being real it takes realizing your mistakes it takes as well placing boundaries hallelujah placing boundaries and you know what it takes you know some growing don't allow yourself to be healed by God and then decide to go back to that place again where you are just going back and turning around in circles because that's not a good thing because you need to be healed and then learn how to be so it takes being strong it takes being strong so i will say to someone that my brother says to me pray for me sister please uh my brother please just write to me on inbox in order for what you would want for me to pray for you and i'm sure that god will work wonders and what i have realized is that for the first time you know being able to open up to god and just letting him do the work so never feel like you know that you're broken too much you're in a place of being too broken for god to heal that and uh and accept and, and just accept god's healing this word has just been bubbling in my heart and bubbling in my head to the point that i had to i had to share it if you feel like someone has hurt you that person might not even ever apologize if you feel like you've been in a relationship where they've not ended well if you feel like you was part of a congregation where things didn't go well go into that place of vulnerability with God and allow him to heal you and once he heals your heart get up and go and don't go back to that place again because it's a matter of choice as well it's something that is choice it's something that you know God can heal you and then you decide to go back to that place again I'm not going to say any further because that's just a short word that I wanted to share tonight one thing that I am really really drawn to is you know, just 
applying God's words to young women these days or young men today to the point that we are so vulnerable in front of God in opening up and saying the things that we've been crying for in our hearts or crying in our hearts, you know, saying it out loud. Behind all these makeup, behind all these uh, uh, foundations and powders and all these clothes that we wear these days and trying to make ourselves look nice, there is a lot of self-esteem problems. There is a lot of, you know, uh, depression going on. There is a lot of uh, troubles going on in, fam in, in young men and women nowadays. There is a lot of us wearing masks. And these masks comes from um, be not being able to, to get healed properly. So in order for you to hear more about this story or to just hear about me speak about being a single Christian woman, um, I am going to be speaking at this event, which is called a single married divorce on the 12th of October, 2019 from four till 9 PM. Now, listen, I know that this has just been bubbling in my heart and I am expecting God to work wonders and I am expecting God to just move unexpectedly. I just know that God is going to cause so many, uh, a broken hearted to broken hearts to be healed that night so this is a christian well you know we're not going to say christian we want everyone we're inviting everyone to come whether you're christian muslim buddhist whatever your faith we're inviting everyone we're encouraging everyone to come because these types of subjects tend to be taboo in our uh, community in our christian community our homes if you're african like i am all they tend to discuss is marriage 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 but we want to be able to talk about the divorcees you know how does it feel to be divorced how did you get back to that uh, you know to get back to that right state of mind and how does it feel you know to come back again what are you looking for what does the bible says what are your intentions for the future and what are you looking to plan for and for someone like me who is still a single woman and, and loving life actually absolutely loving life um you know how to lead a holy life as a single woman, how to lead a holy life as a single man. So very important. And you know, those key points will be highlighted. And I think that it's a very, very important subject that God is building us up. You know, these days, God is really building up a nation, is building up a community, is building up soldiers. So it's important that, you know, in things like this, that we come and we encourage each other and we listen to the word. So the 12th of October, 2019, from four to nine, 30 p.m. I'm just inviting you to come to this conference and as well I am back on Facebook live so you will be seeing me every single week we're gonna go restart our Lingala shows you know I have been commissioned by God to spread this word and to spread this passion to his people so from this Sunday, we are kicking off. I don't know how we're going to be kicking off yet, but I know that we are back with our Lingala live shows, with our guest shows. I know that we are back on a chat with our Celeste page. And I just know that God is going to raise this powerful army in order to bless and glorify his name and just crush the work of the enemy. So once again, I'm just telling you when God heals you, accept his healing and never go back to that place again. Get up and leave. So thank you so much for watching today. And I really, really hope that you enjoy this. Please share, please like, and please comment and please inbox me as well. If you want me to expand and elaborate much more uh, and God bless you all. Take care.